brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Cyber terrorism, biosecurity, border security, and intelligence sharing are all contemporary challenges local law enforcement and first responders deal with. And in a meeting this afternoon, leaders discussed elements of legislation dubbed the Homeland Security and Emergency Act of 2017. In today's meeting, Senator Will Castro introduced provisions of the act, which intends to modernize and revamp the 1951 enabling legislation that established the Office of Civil Defense. But Castro says this is a collaborative effort of subject matter experts like the heads of the Office of Civil Defense and Homeland Security, the Guam Police, the Department of Corrections, Guam Fire, and Guam Customs and Quarantine. Homeland Security Security Advisor Colonel George Charfers was present at the meeting and listed some of his priorities. Number one, illicit drugs uh, as a priority, stop the drugs from coming in. Uh, number two, cybersecurity, and I'll address that in more detail here because there's some legal implications of that. And number three is uh, transnational criminal organizations, the uh, Japanese Yakuza, uh, Chinese Triad. Customs Chief Vince Perez suggested the need for incorporating a task force approach, tying all agencies together with a memorandum of understanding to ensure agencies provide resources and information to one another. CNMI Representative Ivan Blanco was also part of today's dialogue. What happens in Guam also affects the CNMI or vice versa, or uh, U.S. You know, territory, so the only way to protect ourselves is to work together. Castro emphasized the government must be modernized to protect lives and property against all threats. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Valerie Maige. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.